Hey, good morning. It is 1.24 p.m. Not so morning here. February 20th, Saturday. This is Daily Flux right here. Um, I'm doing a voiceover. A lot of you guys are wondering what I've been up to. So this is last night. We were just playing chess um, with some people. And uh, yeah, that's me chilling there. We were watching the live action film Mulan. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, negative... uh, things about it and i don't really know why um but i tend to be the person who ignores the environment and opinion and i kind of watch it for myself and um the movie was enjoyable it was not like the original a lot of people were saying that it um didn't really capture the spirit but uh i thought it did but that's just my opinion um from the director perspective this is me i was on watch And uh, yeah, just kind of checking myself out as usual. A lot of you guys are wondering why I'm so cocky, (laughs) checking myself out and all that. But it's, you know, I worked hard for my shit and I'm not really cocky. I'm just confident in being me and claiming my power, um, all that. So with this uniform, you you rove and uh, you um, basically, you know, if anyone's committing suicide or they need you, you're... You're the arm or the the feet of the organization. So um, that's me over there. Um, But um, yeah, on the next here, this is an NSU watch. uh, Excuse me, um, a Chow Relief watch. And uh, yeah, you have these NSU uniforms. Uh, I ended up losing my uh, garrison cap because uh, I was on my way to Chow. Um, From Chow, and it just dropped off my head. Fortunately, one of my friends is... um, he has his own uh, cap and stuff. So yeah, we're just checking out the outfit. Um, we got our little E3 tags in our collar device. Uh, in six months, we should make Petty Officer Class 3. But um, for now, we're just, you know, a seaman E3. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of here, uh, just chilling. And I'm going to pause it right here and move on to the next one. All right, guys, welcome back. Over here, we got our new room coming up. Uh, We're moving across the building, and uh, we are in the process of moving rooms as we speak. And uh, this is going to be a room with our roommate. He does aromatherapy, and he's also into yoga. He got me into yoga. Uh, Really smart guy, 96% on the ASVAB score. Tone scale, close to 4.0 very um, enthusiastic drifting off maybe a baseline of maybe 2.8 um but yeah this guy is fucking amazing he's been a positive influence in my life here at base so we're gonna move on into his rooms uh but first let's check out our gains or check out our you know our forearms and stuff Uh, and uh yeah we're just kind of um doing that and um yeah, you know, just taking my shirt off, checking the abs, and he's like, hey, um, I'm going to be right back with the MREs, uh, which is what you see in the bottom right there, basically just packages that we get from the military. Um, and yeah, he's just giving it out, and uh, he was just gone for like a minute or two, and I figured I'd create this vlog, and then uh, he actually popped in uh, without my shirt. Then over here we have, instead of um, the MREs actually... You don't need a microwave it. You can just put water and it heats it up. But uh, in this case, we did microwave it, so it's just faster. Uh, the heating element of the MREs takes about five, 10 minutes, but here you can just microwave it for a minute. Um, and this is kind of me changing, uh, getting the microwave stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll put a pause from here and move on. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here, welcome back. Uh, so over here, this was yesterday. We went to the Rocco's dinner. Um, we didn't really have any, uh, it was closed because uh, of the whole ice thing and we're just checking out the schedule. I was like, wait, they're open in 20 minutes. This was at 5, 10 p.m., 17, 10 for your military people. Um, and yeah, we got a little bit confused, but we tend to kind of seek information that we want to hear. So, um, but I neglected the part that, yeah, it's closed over the weekends. Um, and uh, Rokos was essentially saying that, uh, well, at 5.30 p.m., the Slagle Dining Facility, which is the DFAC, um, is the thing that opened. So, uh, you know, we're just checking out the scenes, beautiful Fort Sam Houston, Texas, and San Antonio, Texas, and 
yeah, we're just going along, going here with my group of friends, and uh, yeah, most of them reside definitely above the 2.0 scale, um, and just positive uh, people in your life, uh, and uh, yeah, this is us. All right, back to continue. There might have been an interrupt. Um, this is us. Uh, we were on. This is before we were. Um, when you the video before this was when we were at the Rocco's dining facility. This was uh, a few minutes before that we were walking uh, towards it. And uh, think of this uh, vlog as like lost. We're kind of shifting forward, shifting back. This was a few days prior. Um, I had my. Uh, father sons, uh, I've got Air Force ones, father sons, bottoms. This is actually what I wear to a photo shoot uh, in Carlsbad and La Jolla and Los Angeles and all that. And yeah, we're just kind of checking ourselves out, checking them gains, thanking the Lord for praising the Lord for all he has given us. And uh, yeah, that's one of our stabilizations in our cortisol levels. We practice uh, different spiritualities, but um, yeah, our main one is Scientology. Uh, our baseline and uh, Scientology actually does not have a god, so it actually encourages you to practice whatever religion you may have. Um, so we still um, do Christianity, uh, Catholicism, Protestantism. Um, this was uh, shifting back a few days as well. We were, uh, this is a computer lab watch, and uh, yeah, we kind of, uh, you just wait for people to sign in and out and everyone has a computer so people don't really need it so we brought some books we got our little camo we kind of dressed down it's kind of warm it's me chilling and uh yeah putting it to the side just doing a stretch and yeah you just kind of sit down and watch and how the watches work the rotational shifts is um, you essentially work about four days a week um and uh Sometimes you could work six days, so it really depends on... You get two days off during an eight-day rotation. So you work for six days, they have two days off, uh, usually. So, um, yeah, so this watch consists of a six-hour watch. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're never really working more than eight hours a day. Um, and that's kind of how we pay our bills. This is giving a walkthrough of the computer lab, how it looks like. Um, and... Uh, yeah, now this is only if you are a student in the uh, Fort Sam Houston, so I'm not sure how the lifestyle is when you're out in the fleet uh, or the enemy's presence, but this is just in regards to the United States. And uh, yeah, so I was working on some one of my lessons for um, Scientology. So in Scientology, there is no prayer, there is no service, there is no community. It's kind of more remote, uh, which is actually perfect for the COVID. Um, so you just you know study and uh, your prayer is essentially studying the material um, that L. Ron Hubbard gives out. You study it and uh, you turn in lessons and yeah that's that. Over here we got more snow. Um, the snow has been melting as the days progressed and uh, yeah we're just heading back from uh, like lunch and stuff and yeah just giving you guys a walkthrough of all that works but um yeah so the beauty of all this is i end up identifying our goals so our only two objectives is to be a hollywood director and to be an ifbb pro for the men's physique um our income goals is eventually we want to make 200 grand a month uh, but for now we're just aiming for 20 grand a month using six revenue streams so um basically six different jobs a lot of your jobs is put it in this perspective you're just working for your main job from 8 to 5 and from 6 to 2 a.m. in the morning that's when you grind until you shine that's when you do what you love and uh, that's how entrepreneurs work and eventually you get rid of the main job that makes you money and all your money is gonna go from something that's kind of gonna fulfill your legacy the problem is if you do not work on your dreams you're building someone else's dreams so get this notion and idea in your head that you have to be selfless, you have to care about others, you have to fulfill your duties, these obligations. In the face of death, all this doesn't matter. The people you work for, the people whose dreams you build, they will ditch you. You mean nothing to them. And 
a lot of the times people will kind of question your empathy, question how much you care about people. Um, don't give a fuck. Uh, so okay, over here, there is, uh, these are the Air Force people, or Army, one of them. Um, this is another snow scene. We're just kind of basically taking out all the information from the past and uh, kind of merging into one, giving you guys a light update of where I'm at. Um, yeah, those are my fucking abs. My blue jeans. Yeah, just fucking flexing it up, baby. Um, yeah, our physique is kind of not as good at uh, the present time. Um, but, um, I'll actually add what I posted today at the end of this video. So we can kind of see where our physique resorts. And, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, I know where it's at. We're about, even though that one week off we took off, we had a lot of, we had cheat meals basically almost every day within the last seven days during the isolation. So we lost a lot of our gains. It probably set us back three weeks. Uh, we're going to re-engage it again today, so don't worry. Um, but uh, sometimes you need a break to kind of get your mind off things. When life gets too stressful. Um, you do need that break. And then the more you realize how much cheating could ruin your body kind of tells your body a uh, first-hand experience uh and yeah so we weighed about 160 pounds with all our stuff on so um but yeah so once all that kind of goes in you feel kind of exhausted mentally drained um you gotta look at your why like do you really need a good body if you don't need a good body then fuck it right you're not gonna try hard for it but for us for us we need this good body we want it like we desire it I just love fucking checking myself out. So find a purpose, find a motivation, whatever works for you, but balance it out with spirituality. If you wish, if you don't need spirituality, whatever it takes to kind of lower your cortisol level. So this is a few days prior to that as well. Uh, we usually go commandos on our gene. It's just much sexier, uh, much better in general. But um, yeah, set up high goals, high risk, high reward. Uh, only live your life for you. Um, and don't lower the goalposts. Just kind of fucking chill it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much our physique update. I'll try to update this as soon, as much as I can when I get the time. And um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Um, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. That's probably the best way. Um, and yeah, you could always like text me if you wish um probably yeah the best bet to get hold of me um is texting and uh i don't really uh, it's hard to keep track of social media it's too slow um yeah this texting is probably the best way uh state your name um and uh for a fast response actually i'm gonna give you guys <laughs> A code uh, when you text me so um, if you text me without this code I won't respond to it as quickly um, but I mean obviously if not a lot of people text me then I will uh, you know respond to it but in case like thousands of people text me um, this is the code and I will prioritize these messages so um, all right up to the next pose Zet is the self, and the self is Zet. 